Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Technology and Livelihood Education. Information and Communication Technology. Our topic is Word Processing Software. The Auto Table of Contents of the Microsoft Word. The content standard for this lesson is to demonstrate an understanding of using productivity software. Performance Standard The learners perform the utilization of productivity tools in a safe and responsible manner. The learners shall be able to create MS Word documents with page breaks, auto tables of contents, mail merge, and references. Can you name this word? Have you seen a table of contents in books? Do you know that you can create a table of contents automatically in MS Word? How to add auto table of contents. Apply a heading style to the primary section title and subsection title in your document. For example, you have an introduction section, chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. Apply the heading style of your choice. Heading styles are available in the Home tab. Place the insertion point on the page where you want to place the table of contents. Go to the Reference tab and click on Auto Table of Contents ribbon tab. An automatic table of contents will appear in your document. In using Auto Table of Contents, one should be observant if the page number updates as you update or make changes in your document. The word processing application will not automatically update the page number of each section of your document unless you update it. Let's practice, open a new document. In page 1, type in chapter 1, then command page break, on page 2, type in chapter 2, command page break twice. On page 4, type in chapter 3, then page break twice. On page 5, type in chapter 4, apply heading styles. Apply auto table of contents. You can modify and enhance the appearance of your document. Take note of the page number of each chapter. To update the page, click on the table of contents and look for the pop-up command that can be found on top of the table of contents boundary box. Or you can also use the update table icon. A dialog box will appear, asking you to select an option whether to update the page number only, or update the entire table. For this activity choose only the option update page number only. Now check if changes have been made in your document. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.